This is Rice Bonds Montana de Young back here with you again. And I have a one card mail day that I wanted to just get out of the way uh, while I have all my equipment set up. So let's do this. Let's find out uh, what this card is and how it looks. Still trying to do this new format where you know I show my face on camera a little bit more often, so um, it's a little bit awkward because I kind of have to hold this up to the camera to show you guys opening it. And I'm not sure how much uh, <laughs> enjoyment you get out of watching the card actually come out of the package, but to the extent that anyone does, um, I personally like to like to see what uh, what it looks like when the card comes out. So here we go. Okay, it looks like well wrapped um geez this is very professionally done i don't think you can do a better job you know actually doing this uh as a decoration this this came from hoodies collectibles um recent auction win for me and what do you know this is the 1998 flare showcase legacy collection row two um let me see if i can get this out of the packaging uh, I just love flair so much ever since I saw that first pack of 1993 flair when I was 12 years old at the local card shop it's captured my imagination ever since and even though I left the hobby right when they amped their game up and and got kind of amazing uh, this this set and this this series of sets has always uh, done a lot for me and um, uh, I've been looking for this card for a while. I really like the little red glow uh, there by the name, by Barry Bonds. Um, of course, the glitzier 1998 cards um, are row zero, which I have, and row one, which I'm actually still looking for. But this is the row two. Um, in the base version, uh, the row two is the easiest to pull but um as most of you already know the legacies are all numbered out of 100. so beautiful card um i always love the protection that bgs cases afford but one of the downsides of course is that there is that sleeve inside and it's not pressed down as flatly or as tightly as PSA has found a, a way to do. Um, once PSA finds a way also to put a mylar sleeve layer on the back, um, that is going to be the whole ball game for me, probably. But this is a, a beautiful card. Um, I paid like a hundred dollars over probably fair value for a raw card, just to have a. Uh, nearly mint nearly gem mint card in hand and now that we're doing it this way i obviously can't examine the corners um but i guess i can just do it real quick now and see if i can see any uh, particular damage um i don't see anything so this is this is a beautiful card um i might want to set up another camera and splice in some footage of uh me opening or me showing off this card up close in high res so that you guys can see for yourself how nicely it shines but it's uh it is a beautiful card i'm happy to have it happy to knock this one off the list okay guys until next time